Right. Let me tell you about my family. Hey, here we go now. It's that time again. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Roller coaster ride, but no surprise. It's life with Louie, Louie, Louie. It's life with Louie, Louie, Louie. It's life with life with the lovable, cuddly, be huggable. It's life with Louie. In Cedar Knoll, Wisconsin, winter seemed to last nine months of the year. But each December, just when it seemed a kid couldn't take the cold anymore, an oasis appeared in the sub-freezing desert. Right. Christmas. Do you see anything you might like for Christmas, Louie? Yeah, lots of stuff. Remember, there's a $5 limit for each of you. Five dollars? You try buying gifts for 11 kids. There's a $5 limit for each of you, and that's final. Oh, I'm sure you'll both find something nice. Yeah, Tommy. You ask for the letters A through L, I'll ask for the letters M through Z, and then next year we'll get the board and we can spell out thank you, Dad. Mm. Now, $5 back then was worth a lot more than it is now, but it still wasn't enough to buy the real cool stuff. Hey, no fair. I'll have the meat Well, one. I'm asking my folks for figure skates. Wow, you think you'll get them? I've worked all year for those skates, and I've even been doing extra chores around the house lately. I asked my parents for ice skates, but I'm getting a D in spelling. Think I have a chance? Try my technique. When you're with your folks and you see a present you really want, get real quiet looking at it. Let a single tear fall down your cheek, then just turn around and walk away. What are you asking for, Louie? I don't know. Five bucks won't buy a pair of ice skates. I'd be lucky to even get the laces. Hey, Tico, have you decided what to ask your parents for for Christmas? Not yet. Your family doing anything special this year? Not really. Anything's got to be better than Christmas dinner at my house. It's a zoo. All your relatives coming over to your place, too? I don't think so. Anyone want to play horse? I will. How do you spell horse again? Boys and girls, we have a very special guest here today. Say hello to Santa Claus. How, how, how. <laughs> Merry Christmas. What do you think, Santa? Perhaps it's time for a Christmas carol? How about a lullaby? Maybe you could put these little wildebeests to sleep. Let's all pay attention to Santa as he sings Deck the Halls. Deck the what? She said it was time for Santa to sing Deck the Halls. I think you got the wrong jolly fat man, lady. I'm no burrow I'm. Deck the halls with hyper kids. Fa la 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 la. Making their fathers flip their lips. Fa la 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 la. Work all day for little pay. Fa la 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 la. And kids want cash or they won't go away. Sing. Where are all our presents, Santa? We want our presents. Chopper <laughs> 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 two, chopper two. I'm surrounded. Request immediate airlift. <laughs> Boys and girls, <laughs> that's enough. Uh, when's nap time around here? You got any milk and cookies you can throw as bait? How was it, dear? How was it, huh? You really couldn't relate to the experience unless you've been attacked by a pack of wild wolves. Look what the demented demons did to my suit, honey. Oh, that's not so bad. I'll have this suit fixed in a jiffy. Don't bother. My Saturdays are over. I'll never wear red again. Oh, Andy, you don't mean that. Forget it, Aura. This Santa's retired. Gee, I wonder how Christmas will survive. But, Andy... I volunteered you to play Santa at the Cedar Knoll Orphanage this year. You what? Why don't you just put me back in active duty? The Women's Auxiliary needs a Santa to give out the gifts. You're barking up the wrong Santa here, Aura. But, Andy, it's Christmas, and they're orphans. Poor little orphans. Bah humbug. Jeez, Dad, have a heart. I gave it to the Tin Man. Oh. What's the right thing? Come on, no matter. Yes. Some bluffing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
French, buddy. It looks like the odds are in my favor. Who's next, girls? <laughs> you ready, Louie? Not particularly. Just be ready. supposed to be fat. A guy is in good a shape as me. Ha! Who's ever gonna believe I'm fat enough to be Santa? Hey, not so tight, I'm not bleeding. So, Andy, I talked with your brother Eric this morning. I invited him and his family here for Christmas dinner. Your mother, too. Ow! Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Andy. Did I stick you? Now, the thought of Eric and my mother visiting is more painful than a sharp pin in my side. More like a dagger in my heart. So, Louie, have you decided what to ask Santa for Christmas? With a $5 limit, the possibilities are simply endless. I'm thinking nail clippers are a refrigerator magnet at this point. Stop complaining. When I was your age, I was lucky to get a lump of coal for Christmas. In fact, I'd have to use it to keep me warm for most of the winter. Yeah, well, that explains a lot. Thanks for the suggestion, Dad. Well, you'll think of something, and then we'll write a letter to Santa together. Besides, there's a lot more to Christmas than getting gifts. Yeah, right. Isn't that right, Andy? Sure. Don't forget the part, though, where the annoying relatives invade your house and ruin the entire holiday. <laughs> hey, check out the orphanage. Look at the size of that thing. Wouldn't it be cool living in that place? Yeah. And no parents to tell you what to do. I've got an idea. Why don't we go down the other side of the hill? Really? <gasps> What'd I say? That's Concussion Corridor. No kid has ever slid down it and lived except Glen Glen. And look what happened to him. Oh, it doesn't look that tough to me. I'll bet you with Louie steering, we could make it all the way down. What do you say? Uh, did I mention they call it Concussion Corridor? Come on, it'll be fine. Did I mention they call this concussion cord? to come in for hot chocolate. Me! 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 Hi, Mom. Hi, kids. Come on in. Who wants hot chocolate? She's a mind reader. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Anderson. Oh, you're welcome. You kids have fun now. I can't believe all the Knights never comic books you've got, Louie. Hey, Louie, where's your electric football game? Somewhere in the closet. You've got electric football? Wow. Is all that stuff yours? It's mostly junk. No big deal. Hey, I've seen you play basketball. You're the best. Oh, thanks, kids. Can I get your autograph on my ball? Beat it. Oh, Sorry, Kate. Little brothers can be so annoying. You seems okay to me. Must be fun to have such a big family. Try Three Ring Circus. You just witnessed the train seal act. I'd give anything if I could be an only child. Take it from me. Being an only child isn't as fun as you might think. Would anyone like any homemade sugar cookies? Homemade? Yeah, I do. I do. Oh, wow. Cool. Your family's so cool. You haven't met Corporal Keister yet. Thanks, Mrs. Anderson. Thanks, Mrs. Anderson. Thanks again. I had a really great time. Later, Teak. Well, he is just the nicest boy. Tico's the luckiest guy ever. He's handsome, he's popular, he's the best athlete at school. He's an only child. He's got everything! I'd say he's pretty smart, too. Why is that? Because he's decided to be friends with you. Come on, Louie. Five bucks has to be able to buy something cool in this town. Let's face it. For five bucks, I can't even get the batteries for that truck. Maybe you should ask for a book. Did he just use a four-letter word? Sorry, what was I thinking? 
bucks. How about a gumball machine? It costs five bucks. Yeah, without the gumballs. What am I gonna do? If I don't come up with something, my dad said Santa's gonna bring me antifreeze for the Rambler. <laughs> Your dad sounds really funny. It's no joke. I got a flywheel for my seventh birthday. Hey, what are you doing? That's too tight. Hey, Dad. Sorry, dear. Thought you were too skinny to play Santa. <laughs> yeah. I heard that. Here, you're all ready, Andy. Now remember, the gifts donated from the toy store all have labels on them. Make sure you give the right gifts to the right kids. Uh, Aura, I can read. Now where are the gifts? That should be them right now. Delivery for Anderson. Aura, are you kidding me? How in the heck am I supposed to carry all those presents? <laughs> uh -oh. Well, Aura, take a look at Santa's little helpers. That one for all, all for one, I guess. Trick or treat. Oh, boys, you're both adorable. You think maybe I could be adorable in my regular clothes? Well, time's a waste, and let's get a move on before I pass out from how tight this belt is. Silent night. Not if you got 11 kids. Holy night. what they see my boxers? All is calm. Till my mother visits. All is bright. Run, yeah, whatever it is. I never did learn that part. Wait, wait, what Santa's gonna bring me? Can I have one, please? Oh, right over here. Oh! Hey, Dan, where are you going? I'm going to the North Pole. Where do you think I'm going? You can't just walk through the front door. Santa has to come down the chimney. Duh. Go down the chimney? What are you nuts? Santa's gotta come down the chimney. Santa's gotta come down the chimney. Oh, kids. I got a bad feeling about this. Come on, Dad. Tommy and I'll be right behind you. Now, oh, that's a real comfort, kid. All right. Give me a push now, Louie. Quiet now! I think I hear Santa's reindeer! Come on, let's hurry up. I'm freezing my caboose off out of here. Hey, oh boy, come on down. Where are you? We're right here, Dad. According to the Santa's Little Helper's Handbook, we get to go through the front door. Who's ready for their gifts? Frankie. Thanks, Santa. Twelve ninety nine plus tax, in case you want to know. Denise? Oh, that's me. Uh, don't mention it. That's sweet. 1850. Hey, Alfoy, why don't you do Santa a favor and brush the snow off the ramble? Uh, I mean the sleigh. <laughs> uh, the last present goes to... Uh, Russell. Russell! Russ? Rusty? Uh, going once, Russell? Hi, Louie. Twice. Uh, here you go, Russell. You might want to have your hearing checked yet. Thanks. Russell? Um, why do they call you Tico? I'm the oldest one here, so they call me Antique, or Teak for short. Hi, Tico. Hi, Mrs. Anderson. Don't you want to open up your present? Okay. An electric train? That's $29.99! You want to help me set it up? Sure, why not? I'll never get one. So how come you didn't tell me you lived in an orphanage? I don't know. Embarrassed, I guess. Embarrassed of what? Look what I have to deal with. Dean Martin over there. It's a million neck. I just don't like bringing it up. Especially this time of year. You're really lucky to have your parents and all those brothers and sisters. Yeah, I guess so. I wish I was fighting on the front lines. What do you say? Well, all right, pretty convincing, huh? I believe the kids think I'm the real Santa Claus. Hey, Mr. Anderson, do you think you can sing us another Christmas carol? Huh? Oh, sure, sure. I'll be right there. Uh, spoiler. Oh. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I decided what I want for my present. Oh, good. 
What is it? I want Tico to be able to spend Christmas Day with our family. Just what we need, another mouth to feed. Geez, Daddy's not that big. It shouldn't cost more than five bucks to feed him. Ah, uh, sure. Why don't you just invite the whole neighborhood? They can take shifts ready in our refrigerator. You sure you wouldn't rather have a real present, Louie? Come on, Mom. Christmas isn't just about getting gifts. That's right, Louie. It's not. I think if it's all right with the orphanage, it's all right with us. Right, Ann? Since when did our house become the local smorgasbord? Old Food Shelf Anderson at your service. Open the door, empty the shelves. Hey, why didn't I think of that? Why don't we set up tables in the yard in a tent? Hey, no fair. Back here. No way. You're fine, Chico. <laughs> hey, you're it. Did somebody just shoot me? Boys, come on in for dinner now. Here are my little grandsons. Did you have fun outside? Yeah. I can't remember when I had more fun. Ah, <laughs> what are you doing, my vice grab? Give that to me, Andrew. Whose son are you, anyways? Stiffed again. Here we go. Dinner. <laughs> oh, this looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> hey. Are you my cousin or something? I'm a friend of Louie's. What? <laughs> Did you lose a bet? He's the one who's never had a date. I heard that. Andy, why don't you say grace? Okay, let's see. Uh, if you're listening, big guy, uh, thanks for the vittles, and thanks for bringing our family together. All right, big guy. That was very nice, Andy. Uh, I didn't mean you. Eat up, everyone. There's plenty more where that... Oh, oh, hey, there's some of that slop over here. I'm sorry she doesn't speak English. She's Dutch. She just came over. We've adopted her. I told her you wouldn't be able to speak to her. Hey, Andy. Has that car of yours kicked yet? <laughs> Still going strong. 750,000 miles on it. Only four engine changes, three ring jobs. Still driving on the original tires. Same battery all this time, because I keep the water filled. You need upgrade to a luxury car? Like Mom and me. I'll stick with the real man's form of transportation. The ram. Hey, check out my new camera. It's state-of-the-art. Let me tell you, it cost me a pretty penny. Uh, hey, Dad, Tommy and I got you a present. Ah, uh, how nice. You see that, Eric? The kids really love their old man. A lump of coal. What kind of gift is that for dear old Dad? Well, I wanted to bring your childhood back to you. Well, this baby should keep the family warm through February, at least. Or start a big fire underneath Eric's car. Oh, just getting you there, brother. Hey, everybody! Let's take a family picture with my new camera. What a great idea. Uh, Come on now, gather around, everybody. You two, up the stairs. Yes, Everyone else, around. around. How about if I take the picture? Great idea! Say cheese! Hey, wait a minute. What about Tico? Shouldn't he be in the picture? Of course he should. Tico, why don't you join us? Don't worry about it. Wait, I've got an idea. We'll use the timer. Ha, everyone get in position. Okay, everybody say, Wisconsin swears. Wisconsin swears. Uh, uh, Tico and I had the best Christmas ever that year. I got a surprise for you, son. Sometimes the best gift you can get is to spend time with somebody you really like. We played games, ate cookies, and later that night, Dad led the whole family in a Christmas carol. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me Twelve migraine headaches, eleven children screaming Ten hour work days, nine neighbors suing Eight dogs a-barking, seven chores a-waiting Six repairmen pounding, five years till I kick Four utility bills, three mortgages, two weeks off a year And a wife to stand by me throughout it 
should have been a singer. People are so fun. I hold in a swing. I wish I was fighting on the front lines. What do you say? You sent a break.